morning, everyone. Hello. So we're on our way to Cedar Point. This is probably going to be similar to what we did in August. Um, dropping off Thorn first and then heading on the highway to Cedar Point. We're probably going to stop at Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner first because the park isn't open tonight. So we're just going to kind of walk around and show you guys um, the park when it's uh, October. So um, we hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the road. And it will, we'll probably show you first a little bit here, just like last time. He's excited now, but he doesn't really understand that he's going to uh, Pampered Pets to be dropped off for daycare. Well, not daycare, for yeah, three boarding. nights boarding, so. All right, Doran, you ready? Let's hit the road. <laughs> Hello, friends. We are at Cedar Point now. We just checked in, so we're just gonna give you a quick tour of our room. And uh, the reason why we're gonna give a tour of the room, we're at 2126. And this is actually the new part that they built about five years ago, the new section. The section that this replaced was, honey, what was this section called? It was an old section that was here for remember. like a hundred years or something like that. So everything leaked. <laughs> <laughs> so this is brand new. We've never stayed in here before. And the last two room tours that we did were at the it was the queen bed with the queen sofa, which we really love that room mm -hmm. too. So we wanted to try something different now because the price is really cheap due to um, you know the, the the weekends that they're you know they're giving everyone here. Yeah, we so, have pass holders too. Yeah, so for season pass holders, I think we paid for this room. It was like a hundred dollars a night only, or hundred and ten, so really cheap. So when you walk in, it was all our stuff right here. So mind that, but they have the nice like fake wood laminate floors here wood, but you can smell it's still new, and this was built like about five years ago. This wing. So on, then you have. Your little closet area here, just regular hangers and everything, and then a little spot. But um, the safe here is uh, newer. It's got a newer computer on there than the other ones. And you got your regular, just like the other rooms we showed before here yeah, at Cedar Point. It's the same material. Yeah, everything's the same here. It's just a newer feel in here. And you got a fridge with a freezer. In the fridge, you could fit a lot of things in there cans and stuff and extra food and they got a microwave i wanted a popcorn microwave popcorn but i couldn't find any so and there's a bathroom there's one vanity and just a regular tub there's a shower head right there and our same picture right there that we always have <laughs> but very clean it's, you could tell this is really new and we got two queen beds because there were some friends we didn't know were friends may have came with us, but they did decided not to come. So um, we stuck with the same room though. We didn't want to change the room. So same room, same decorations on the back. Just a queen size bed with the carpeting, nice big screen TV. Your drawer, drawers, three different drawers. Um, table with two chairs here, and then this does pull out into a single. Uh, sofa. Like a, a sleeper chair. Like a sleeper. Okay, so you could have one. This does pull out. I'm not sure how it pulls out, but let's see. Oh, there it is right there. So you got to be very tiny to fit on that. <laughs> Maybe like a kid or something or a, yeah. a teenager, small kid. Or someone that doesn't like chocolate like I do. So, yes, that's the room. And this is the part that we wanted to um, get because well, we usually don't get balconies here, but they have balconies here. Um, well, the balconies are usually the suites. Yeah, usually, yeah, they're usually the suites, but they have them here in a new section. The problem, we never stayed here. The new section's a little more pricey than the other rooms. Yeah, if you go in the summer. So, it's, we got a good deal on this room, like I said. So, we got a, a really nice view. We don't, it's not considered lake view, but you still got the lake right there. But then you got the water park right here. And that's my favorite. And you got Millennium Forest right here. Magnum. I mean, Magnum, I'm sorry. Magnum XL 200 and the water park. Yeah. And then there's a little That's cubby right awkward. here that you can see dragster right there. That's so awesome. you got Millennium Force in the background over there too. And then Gemini right there. So, and then you can I don't know if you can, you can see you can see a little bit of Steel Vendus in the background. And they are testing the rides tonight, even though they're not open tonight. So we're going to the park tomorrow and Sunday. But you can imagine in the summer this is a really nice balcony. And uh, we'll enjoy it. It's, it's pretty wide. I wouldn't say that wide, it's long. If you look at the hair. So 
So there's just regular two chairs and a table right there. And if you want to do a deep view right here, from out here, from the balcony, to see inside of the room. It's a really nice room. Okay, so we will see you guys soon. We're probably going to take a, a walk. I know last time we were taking a walk around the lake over here to show you guys uh, the old Sandcastle Suite area, but the problem was it was blocked off over there. So we're going to go around this way now and go around the back way and go towards um, the cottages and everything and see how many trailers are there, if they have decorations for Halloween and stuff. So, All right, guys, see you soon. Hello, everyone. We just left. There's our room right there. Second Second. Floor. We're taking a walk right now to that one spot we wanted to last time where they have steel vent, just like a little bridge. Not sure how long we can stay there, it's a little chilly out, but this is the building right here that we're staying in, which is the new wing that we talked about when I showed the, uh, the room tour. And there's the main building right there. So we're heading this way. Yeah, it's like uh, the west or east wing, I can't remember. Look at that. Look at the shaking this, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I just want to carry this all day tomorrow. I'm bringing the GoPro tomorrow, though. So, yeah, tomorrow when we uh, go in the park, we're going to try. The GoPro came out with a medium mount that I've been trying to get for the last year with the GoPro Hero 8. And then finally, I was able to get it. It's really hard to get, and I was lucky. So, we're going to try it at the park tomorrow instead of using the cannon that we have right now to see how better it is or worse. But that's how close we were. We, were we just. Uh, so, just to give you guys perspectives. There's the door right there, right over there, and our room is right there on the second floor, first one here towards this side. And then we came out of that door here, and this is where the entry is to the park right here. So at a convenience entry to the park, this is like the perfect spot. But if you want to be closer to the, the main lobby, this is probably the farthest one away, but there's a pool here too. So you still got access to the pool going outside here to go to your pool. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow morning we get in at 11.15. Right through there. And typically on a regular year, the park is open from 5 till midnight on Friday nights. And then Saturday from, I think it was 10 or 11 to midnight depending on the year. So... And they're testing all the rides tonight too, so it makes it a little tougher walking around here in the rides and we can't go on them, but what are you gonna do? We're here. We're walking by the water park right now. All closed up, so sick, summer's over. Just a whole eerie feeling. No pun intended. Avengers going. Is there people on there? No, right? I don't think so. It'd be cool if they let the workers on, though. You know? And they're running vengeance like crazy, honey. There we go. Wow. So 
This must be the new Wild River ex uh, excursion. Snake River, whatever it's called. Remember what it's called? Snake River Expedition? Yeah, because it's got the snake right here. Look at this. This is cool. And they're building one of those boats, it looks like, right there. Because of COVID, they stopped to ride this little bear right there. So cool, look at that boat. So cool, we're going. I know they have one on the water already. Yeah, they were testing it. We saw Tony Clark on it. It's cool, here's all the stuff right here to build it and get it ready for next year. And this is right outside of the water park too. Yeah, it looks like a food truck over there. You see the food trucks? Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll use these for Halloween or something, maybe? Yeah, huh? Hmm. There's more wood. There's the, like, the cabins right here. No, these are the newer ones I thought, right? The ones they built. These are the newer ones. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The older ones are the Mm-hmm. Face covering machine, if you need your face covering. Well, it looks like that's like a toll booth thing. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Oh, look at this. Hmm. People are having fires. Playing bags. Plug this one. We could walk around and go through. Are these spots open? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. These are all these open spots. But maybe... Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, because when, when I, I never looked at it only for Friday. Yeah, usually the, um, in, the, in the fall weekends, they sell out pretty fast. I don't you know to, why. You have to book, like, I think right when reservations start for the next year. But I don't know why you would want to come just Saturday only. Because the park, even these uh, areas right here, the, cottage, or the, the RV hookups, they're still closed at noon. When we checked in, too, there were some people just asking, like, well, if... check us at 11, but they said that they they locked the doors at 12. So you have to be out of the hotel no later than 12. And usually, you know, during the Halloween time here, everyone's got their trailers um, decorated for Halloween yeah, and for stuff, Halloween, too. But Might be a little different now because yeah, of the pandemic. It's not really considered Halloween, like, Halloween weekends. It's, it's fall fest. All right, so we got towards towards the lake, and this is where Sandcastle Suites used to be. And they're building, as you see, which they're supposed to be ready for this year, but obviously it got postponed to next year. But these are RV hookup spots. These are the premium ones, so they have um, the well, brick layout. Like yeah, it's like right it's here. Like this, it comes with like a fire pit, chairs. We'll walk over nice, there a little closer. A nice grill. We'll walk around there. Oh, and then it's got a table on four chairs. Watch out over here. So, I heard they got the nice Adirondack chairs. They got a fire pit each one of these spots. And these spots are the ones that are premium, so it's a little more money. Yeah, and then it looks, look, it has a table on four chairs with a, and a grill. Like a yeah, really and nice they got a nice grill, grill like too. A grill. Not good. There's actually a lot of spots here. Look at this. I, I mean, it goes all the way around. There's the gazebo back there. That me and my dad. I know I talk about it all the time. Put another pool in. But where we smoked all the time. They made like a little house over here. There's our gazebo right there. That was right in the middle of Sandcastle Suites. No? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you think there's only that one pool over here? That's older. So some of these right here, look, they're really close to the lake right here. 
There's some Halloween decorations right here. Oh, yeah. See a nice setups here. Look at that spot over there. Which hill over there? So yeah, it looks like there's a. It's probably has showers in here and stuff for people too. But yeah, it looks like a pool or something. Maybe. If they're building this many spots, a yeah, pool could be right here, maybe. Here's the premium spots all over here. I mean, you're right in the water. I know. You can probably walk this way around. Oh, I know. Look at this. Look at all this. We got chairs right here and a table over there. Look at all. You got this little seat right here. Yeah, I'm sure this is because all these have that uh, extra room. You got it right here too. What a view! You know, we've always talked about taking our trailer here too. So the great thorn was. This is where we're at at that captain's quarters, or where our summer place is. It's kind of stationary. It's hard to get it out and then put it back in there. There's like a few spots there. Really, there's one right, one right here too. This one's kind of nice too. Right here, look. Yeah, right by this little pond area right here. Right by the lake. So yeah, so where we just came from, that was the RV hookups. So now here's like the little lakeside cottages they're called. Mm -hmm. So they got a lake view and they have, um, I believe there's one bedroom with a futon. There's, um, is it two futons and a living room and then a bedroom with queen and then book beds, I think? These are all the same. I the ones they, I that we sleep six. The ones that we first saw over there, those are the bigger ones where they, they yeah, built, yeah. Like 12, 12. 12 people, yeah. yeah. These are so nice too. These have a uh, little porch area. And I'll get a better view of the porch area when we get to the bridge area where we go and watch. Because we're going to get to see Steel Vengeance in all its beautiful glory. But it's kind of depressing too. It's just so nice to sit out here. The only thing is, it depends on what time of year. Like right now, it's pretty cool outside. And then in the summer, you got these muffin heads. These yeah, bugs. Cool. So that's why if you saw in the room we had, there's a screen in there. Because if you didn't have a screen, in the summer you'd be attacked by bugs. Now I remember, I think, in Cleveland, I forgot what team Roger Clemens was paying for. But it was like in the playoffs or something, or towards the end of the year. And Roger Clemens was pitching, he got attacked. It was like a <laughs> whole swarm. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I got ramps here yeah, too we to for, um, for accessible. Mm -hmm. So you got a nice ramp there for people that need it. They're, they're called mayflies or something. Yeah, mayflies. No, those are the long ones. The muffin heads are the smaller ones, yeah. right? Yeah. Either way, I don't get her annoying. Mayflies are more in the summer, I think. 
and the, the muffin heads are like, I don't know, maybe they're all season long. But I remember when we went to Quentin Bay, they were talking about that. It's kind of like were Florida. All over the TVs. Remember in Florida when they had the, the, love uh, bugs? the love bugs? Yeah. Yeah, love bugs are like May and September down there. And we were there, we stayed at Polynesian last year in 2019. And. The, mo the oh, they love were all over the pool. They were crazy. I mean, all over Pools, the place. The bars outside. Yeah. So we're going towards our bridge area now. But I've always liked this it looks like lighthouse here. Well, it's called Lighthouse Point. So yeah, I'm sure they kind of. Like right here. Nice. You got Steel Vengeance right in the background, the first drop. You got this nice lighthouse there, and the pole's right behind it. There's a lot of these light, this cat cottages here. It goes all the way around right there, too, in a circle. We've never stayed here. I mean, we've been here. I've been coming here. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You saw. Now, you saw how far we're walking. You saw in the beginning when I first started videoing where we were in our room. Okay, so we might as well, since we're right here, hold on. So Vengeance is going right now. There it goes. And again, me and Terry have been to so many parks across the country and rides and roller coasters and flat rides. And to me, this is my number one favorite roller coaster on the planet or, or ride. Or ride all together. It's a long ride, it's got so much fun. It's too bad you can't vlog on her, but you can watch POV on yeah. her. Point has their POV. So the pool doesn't look like it's open, huh? No pool open. So, anyways, what I was getting at, like, this is nice to stay here. The problem is, Bar. like, I mean, we're by Vengeance right here. You see Drake's from the back on there. problem is it's so far from the front and you saw where we were we're like maybe what two minute walk from walking out of our room to the gate to enter enter the park it's like a two minute walk so there's a pool right there it's closed it's not even water in there the pool by breakers i believe is open still yeah they said there's only one pool so we're by that bridge right now you can see maverick right there Dragster's behind the trees right here. And there's the, right here. There's no one in there, so I'll try to get in a little closer. Zoom in. Hi. There's a nice little deck with chairs. It's got a grill, but it's not gas, it's charcoal. You can hear the water against the rocks. It's so nice to sit outside and stuff. And it's nice outside, there's a lot of boats flying through here. People fishing right there. Downtown Sandusky's over there. I get a little closer view here of the patio too. That's where Terry's walking. Yeah, right there, it's cute. I mean, got a nice little table right there, chairs. You can see they're all lined up right here. You got a nice view right here of the it's water. Nice the water. You got the sun still around. Too bad it's cloudy, but you can still see oh, the sun creeping up over the water a little bit. All right, so we're gonna head back now, and there's a boat right there. So we're getting ready to leave, and then uh, we decided to stay for a little longer by this our spot here. There's boats coming in, but then there's a big barge coming in.
Is that what it says? On the side. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me get a little closer so you can see that. We saw that in the middle of the boat. So this is Canada. Steamship line. It's cool. everyone we're at a regular spot just came back from that one area mm -hmm. and now we're over here now by the nice fire pits here just sitting here having a cigar and a drink a little chilly but no, not too bad just relaxing for a little bit then we'll go back to the room relax and get ready for tomorrow probably get up early in the morning and I'll do a little vlog in the morning and take some pictures of the sunrise sunrise because tomorrow's probably the last day we're gonna see some sun <laughs> Sunday is supposed to be like in the mid 50s and rain almost the entire day and then we're going to Kalahari on Sunday when we leave here and we're spending a night at Kalahari so but I did something very <laughs> dumb I got a tattoo last week forgetting about coming on this trip well I knew we were coming on a trip but I, I didn't really realize that I can't go in the water can't get it my tattoo and sun so Terry's a little frustrated with me I didn't even bring my swim trunks or anything for Kalahari so not sure what we're gonna do there but hopefully the rain holds out on Sunday so we can stay here as long as we can and go on all the rides and stuff like that but we'll see it's a little better than being at home well, we're just missing Thorin. It's only a bad thing. Like when we're showing you guys the, the camper area, if we brought a camper, the little guy would be with us yeah. right now. It's only a bad thing. We could bring pets. Poor little Thorin. <laughs> Alright, so we'll probably see you guys back in the room. See if we could see any rides going tonight, and then we'll call tonight. 